St. Augustine are trying to find out who left two Molotov cocktails outside of the National Guard armory this morning. The crime is being called an arson. Town of Fort's Elizabeth Campbell spoke with St. Augustine police and is joining us live from outside the armory with an update on the investigation. Elizabeth. Well, Tom and Mary, police arrived to the armory behind me this morning around 8 o'clock. They were here for several hours. They say they originally responded to a burglary call, but that turned into an arson call. Now, investigators just left the scene here about four hours ago. But if you, excuse me, about two hours ago around 4 o'clock. But if you take a look behind me, those gates that you see is the majority of the area where investigators were taking their time this afternoon. Now, I want to show you video from when officials were here. Officials from the state fire marshal's office, FDLE, and other agencies. Now, the St. Augustine Police Department tells me, other than those two Molotov cocktails, a rag was also found wadded up in the gas tank of a Humvee here at the armory. Now, when police arrived, one of the bottles was partially broken. The other was completely broken. Black soot was around both of the bottles and the rag. Uh, and they tell me that they also could smell odor, smell an odor in the air, but fortunately no one was injured. Now, I did speak with the St. Augustine Police Department. They tell me officers in the area will be even more diligent around government buildings like this armory in the coming days. After an incident like this occurs, we will step up our uh, presence in areas of government buildings. Um, we'll have officers out there making uh, extra patrols in the areas. If they see anything uh, any remotely uh, out of place, we'll, we'll investigate it. Now, I reached out to the Florida National Guard, and they tell me they cannot comment on the incident right now. I also reached out to the state fire marshal's office in Tallahassee, who is leading this investigation. We're waiting to also hear back from them. As for who could be responsible, that is under investigation. Anyone with information is asked to contact local law enforcement. Reporting live from St. Augustine, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.